Here's another update on my aquaponics system. Just wanted to show you kind of the latest uh, changes I've made uh, to fix some issues and uh, how well the plants are doing. So. But as you can see, you, you can you can tell I can uh, I finally see the bottom now. So the algae bloom is pretty much dissipated. Water is still kind of green and it's, it's got all these particles. I don't know if you can see it. There's a lot of little particles in the water. And it looks like that's from the algae bloom uh, that's actually sort of died and clumped together. Uh, I can see a lot of it getting sucked up in here. I don't know if you can see that. So, so anyways, just wanted to show you kind of what I've added on. I've added on this blue barrel here um, that just has, so from the pump that comes up, I've added this top portion here to go to the blue barrel. Um, and it just comes across and pours out. You know, it's just filtering basically the particles out of the water. I'm using uh, polyfill. I've seen a guy doing this on YouTube. I thought I'd give it a try to clean up the, the algae bloom. Um, it didn't really clean up the algae bloom, at least not very well, not noticeable. Or maybe I'm just a little impatient. But after like three or four days, or more maybe, um, it just wasn't cutting it. So I went and bought some uh, algae control. It's like a little bottle of some kind of algae killer. So I added that in and I mean within like two days of adding the algae control in, not even two days really, uh, it was completely, clean, com completely cleaned up. Um, so you can still see a little bit of algae on the side walls. I'm going to scrub that off a little bit more. But, but this has done a really good job of filtering out just, just nasty like junk that, um, you know, excess waste and particles and uh, just, just other junk that's sort of got into my system. So the water is definitely a lot cleaner uh, and especially the bottom here and even more so the bottom here you can't really tell but I can see the bottom of that real clear so so this, it's been definitely been a good thing it's just like a waste basket I cut a hole in the top of this barrel waste basket full polyfill so it just overflows out of this waste basket and it comes out of this pipe here so um, that's pretty much it. So look at the plants. My uh, strawberries have gotten much bigger. I mean, they're they're doing really well, uh, even though they're not producing anymore because um, they almost died because uh, well, the system got flooded. I think I mentioned that on the last video. You can see my asparagus has gotten pretty. You know, I, this this one stem is almost it's about two feet tall or, or less. A um, lot more asparagus growing. I don't know much about asparagus and, and honestly I haven't really looked it up <laughs> uh, to see when it's available to harvest. I think it takes a year or two, uh, I, but that's just me guessing. I have no idea. Um, I need to look that up. I've, I've got a few jalapenos. I mean this is kind of late in the year. This is uh, We're in mid-August now. Um, I had a lot of my plants die off because of some uh, caterpillars ate through all the cabbage and the kale and and I just I, I neglected it a little bit but um, got some jalapenos poblano there's really nothing there's some blooms on here but I haven't gotten anything I don't know if the birds are eating it or what I think I'm gonna mention that on the last video as well um, it broke off actually and I just stuck it in here and it seemed to be remaining alive um, you see where it broke during a storm so I've got some spinach and kale and what I thought was, actually I thought these were like baby carrots and I'll have to wait and see, it looks more like spinach. I threw in a whole bunch more seed in the last uh, week or two, or week, and you can already see the seed has just really taken off. Tons of kale and lettuce. Uh, two different lettuce varieties. You can see what the caterpillars did to my uh, cabbage. 
and the, the kill I had in here. Actually, here's the last remaining kill plant. Yeah, it's not doing so well. I don't think it'll make it. <laughs> um, but yeah, just a, little, just a lot of seeds are coming up. So hopefully, these are sort of late harvest plants or, or late in the year I can, they can be grown. So hopefully I can harvest them uh, in October, September. So we'll see. Uh, I've definitely learned a lot. Um, so next year, the garden will be much larger and more producing. <laughs> Uh, you can see my tomato plant um, almost died off, had some problems, malnutrition pro or nutrition issues. I added some things to the system, cut it back, and it's actually doing pretty well now, growing back. So that's just about it. Um, I added, let me show you in here. Oops. I added a little bit of polyfill. It's like a little cloth down in here. and just helps catch. I mean, that thing was nasty earlier. It really does help catch a whole bunch of particles that uh, aren't floating to the bottom of this, um, this uh, filter here. I hope to add another grow bed on next year. Um, I'm not sure where and how yet. I don't know if I'll add it to the back or to the side. But for the winter, um, I'm going to cover this whole thing. Let's see if you can let me stand back where you can see. I want to cover this whole thing in uh, a greenhouse um, for the winter. So that should work out right. And, and I'll also I'll wrap this toad. I should have already painted or wrapped this thing. And obviously I just hadn't gotten around to it. That would definitely cut back and prevent any of the algae bloom that I've had problems with so I'll get to that really soon um, so yeah hope you enjoy the video like and subscribe thanks